Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And let's continue the series I've been doing where I attempt to name who I believe is the best player in each NBA franchise's history. They're all-time GOAT. They're in a playlist of teams I've done, also previously the NFL teams, also in a playlist. I've been going in alphabetical order. Today, we land on the Oklahoma City Thunder now. Of course, the Thunder started as the Seattle Supersonics. Their inaugural season was 1967-68. Remained the Supersonics until the 2007-08 season. Since the 2008-09 season have been the Oklahoma City Thunder. The team won one championship as Seattle in the 1978-79 season. Now... Before I name my GOAT, I've been revisiting the NBA Mount Rushmores I did two years ago. Back then, I tried naming who I believe are the four best players in each franchise history. Uh, So, just revisiting them, seeing if I would make any changes in the two years that have passed. I would not for uh, the Thunder slash Supersonic. So, in alphabetic order by last name, I included Kevin Durant. Nine seasons with the Thunder. Actually, first with the Sonics. Four scoring titles. The Rain Man, Sean Kemp, made five straight All-Star teams from 92-93 to 96-97. The Glove, Gary Payton, Defensive Player of the Year in 95-96. And Russell Westbrook, just the second player ever to average a triple-double, 2016-17 MVP. Some honorable mentions for the Thunder slash Sonics include... Spencer Haywood, Jack Sigma, Detlef Schrempf, James Harden to a lesser extent, Fred Brown, Sergi Baca, Stephen Adams, Ray Allen, Richard Lewis, Dennis Johnson, and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Uh, but in the end, I decided that my all time best player from this franchise is. Kevin Durant. Durant was taken with the second overall pick with the Seattle Supersonics in the 2007 NBA Draft. His rookie season was with Seattle the following eight seasons with the Thunder. He was named the MVP in 2013-14. Also won Rookie of the Year in 2017-18. Superb score throughout. Also had three runner-up finishes for MVP and an MVP finish of fifth with the team let's take a look at his season by season numbers via his basketball reference page so Durant made five straight all NBA first teams from 2009-10 to 2013-14 I was an all-star in his last seven seasons with the team actually had two uh, fifth place finishes in MVP voting Uh, in his time with the Thunder 27.4 27.4 points per game, 7 rebounds, 3.7 assists, 1.2 steals, and a block shooting 48.3% from the field, 38% from deep, 88.2% from a charity stripe, led the league in free throw shooting in 2012-13, each of his last four seasons with the Thunder, shot over 50% from the field, won four scoring titles with the Thunder, including three in a row from 2009-10 to 2011-12 uh, career high of eight rebounds per game in the 2011-12 season became more of a distributor at the end of his thunder tenure uh, twice averaging over uh, five assists per game had a bunch of seasons well four seasons where he averaged more than a block per game they did make one nba finals where they lost to the miami heat in 2012 Averages at 28.8 points, 8 rebounds, 3.7 assists in his 91 career playoff games with the Thunder. Uh, Again, just one of the best scorers we've really ever seen that started with his Thunder tenure and has continued on since he has left Oklahoma City. Now, obviously, uh, not his whole career is with the Thunder, uh, but nonetheless, he's already... Eighth all-time with his 28,924 career points. Um, You know, he made a lot of Thunder fans mad when he left. I try not to uh, let that sway my decision. I go by who was the best in my eyes on the court. Kevin Durant, 
uh, was the choice for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Who would you consider the GOAT? Would you change anything about the Mount Rushmore I chose for the Thunder slash Supersonics? Now, um, I also, I've, with all these teams, I've been taking a look at the active roster, deciding if anyone has a chance to overtake the GOAT has a chance to make the Mount Rushmore. Honorable mention, I know I did name one guy as an honorable mention. That is Shea Gilgis Alexander. Uh, this past season was runner-up for MVP. Season before that finished fifth in MVP voting. Five seasons with the Thunder. So, yes, I do expect Shea to be on the Mount Rushmore. Will he overtake um, Durant? Possibly. I mean, Durant played nine seasons. He's on. He's at five. He's only. Uh, he's twenty five years old, so he could definitely overtake him in amount of time with the team. Uh, but at the very least, I definitely expect him to be on the Mount Rushmore. Um, the Thunder came off a season where they had the best record in the Western Conference, were the top overall seed. So of course, a lot of good players. Um, Chet Holmgren is probably the other one who might have a chance. It, it's difficult to get on this Mount Rushmore. This is a good Mount Rushmore for sure. Uh, but Chet Holmgren in, missed his entire first season with a foot injury. Finished as runner-up for Rookie of the Year this past year. Uh, yeah, he at least has a good chance of being an honorable mention. But stay tuned for tomorrow when we move on to the next team. That being the Orlando Magic. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.